Hello traders and welcome to the Stock Goodies Chart School. The RSI or Relative Strength Index is an extremely popular momentum oscillator and it measures the speed and change of price movements. Let's go ahead and load one onto this chart here. Down below overlays, you will see indicators. You'll have to scroll down to the bottom of the list and there is the RSI. The standard setting is 14 and for the purposes of this lesson we will go ahead and use that setting. Though this is one that one of the indicators that you can change the setting on faster or slower to suit your particular needs. Now the RSI is down here below the volume bars and it begins at zero. The high reading is 100 and then there are three horizontal lines also on it. The 30 line is where it is considered oversold, where it is probably due for a bounce. Anything at 70 or above is considered overbought and there may be a correction coming soon. The midline is the 50 and things to watch out for there are crossovers through it either up or down or like in this case support at the 50 on a stock that's uptrending and a stock that's downtrending it could be resistance at the 50 and I'll show you all about that. Now let's take a look at what we mean by support or resistance at the center line. Now the RSI lowest reading is 0, the highest reading is 100, so the center line is 50. And let's go back and look at all the times that Yahoo, while it was in a serious uptrend, had support at the 50 and bounced. Okay, the first time it did it was right here. And as you can see, the stock went up. It had a nice run, did a small pullback in this area right here, and it came down and dropped just below the 50 line right here and bounced. That was be the beginning of a new uptrend that broke out to new highs above this level of resistance, which is bullish. It, after setting a new high, it did a small pullback, and it just went under the 50 line again right here which was the beginning of a new uptrend it broke above this resistance to new highs and again pulled back where it went down and tagged just above the 50 line which was the beginning of another uptrend that broke above all resistance so it broke out to new highs did another pullback which is healthy after a nice run and this time it was even higher above the 50 which also began a new uptrend that just barely broke out to new highs. Okay, Did a little pullback, broke out to new highs again right here above that resistance and that was pretty steep so it did another pullback. Now you would expect when the RSI hit the 50 line and bounced right there it was the beginning of another uptrend that broke out to new highs above that level of resistance. Okay, so that's an example of a bullish bounce up off of the 50 line after falling from 70 or so. So if you are a long-term trader and you buy and hold hoping that the stock will continue to go up, when you see the RSI pull back during, during a pullback of the stock price and bounce off of the 50 line, that's bullish so you could go ahead and keep this position. Now when the RSI breaks below the 50 line or center line that's usually considered bearish and it will go back to near 30 where it will be oversold again and you can expect a bounce like it did here. The reading here on the RSI was probably about 32 to 35 which is a buy signal for some like Dow theory 
The old saying is, buy the Dow when the RSI is at 30, and starting to uptick again. Okay, let's take a look at divergences. This chart does not have any divergences because the RSI is tracking the price action pretty well. Okay, let's do a trend line from right here where we had our first RSI bounce. So this is the overall trend of the stock. Now let's go back here to the RSI, grab the lowest point, and draw a line through them. As you can see, the RSI is not diverging from the price action. That means that the stock price is going up and the bottoms of the RSI or their support level is going up. There is also no divergence here on this little downtrend that started recently. To pick the trend, you grab the top and draw a line through it, through all the tops. And then you grab the high point of the RSI, grab the top, and as you can see, it is also in a downtrend. Now, a divergence happens when the stock price is falling and the RSI is going up. Now let's take a look at the opposite of support at the 50 line, which is bullish. Resistance at the 50 line when a stock is in a downtrend is bearish. So let's go ahead and talk about, let's say you went short ABX when it became extremely overbought here above the 70 line and it finally broke all support in this area and broke down through it. Okay, so this was your, this would be your initial entry. You sell short. Okay. The RSI drops through the midline, becomes almost totally oversold around 30, and then comes up and tags the 50 line. Okay, it didn't really work that time. Yes, it did go down after that. Okay, it's rejected at the 50 line. It goes down near 30, goes back up towards 50, and again is rejected at the 50 line. That's the beginning of another downtrend. The next time it happens, it doesn't, doesn't even come close to 50, but let's, so let's take the next instance. Okay. The RSI was oversold at 30, went up to 50, turned back down. That was the beginning of another downtrend. Okay. Here's the next instance, which was also the beginning of another downtrend. Actually, it's just ranging sideways here. Small downtrend. Here's the next one. It actually got above 50 that time, and that was the beginning of another downtrend. Now here's where things start getting bad. Okay. It breaks just above 50 and turns back down to oversold again. Okay. The next time it attempts at 50 is right here, and that was also the beginning of another downtrend. It goes down to totally oversold at the 30 line, approaches the 50 line, it doesn't even come close to it, and is rejected again. It goes down again. Okay. The next real time it came close to 50. Let's skip up to here. Okay. Not much happened, but this time is when it all broke loose. Okay. The reason being, it was consolidating in a downtrend right here, which is usually bearish. And when it breaks below the lows, these two lows right in this area, when it broke below it, it fell hard. Okay, then it it dropped through the the 30 line, became extremely oversold for quite a while, and then attempted a bounce out of oversold territory. Okay, so that was pretty bullish. The next time, the RSI. Now, if it had broken above 50, that would have been bullish. But again, right here, it gets rejected by the 50 line, and again, right here. Okay, not much downward motion. Then it finally breaks above the 50, but then crosses back down through it right here. And that is the beginning of a serious downtrend where it goes to totally oversold conditions below 30. 